These are the T6 switches, and they're a new creation from Pantheon Keys, a Singaporean vendor who got started in mid-2020 and has quickly earned my respect for running a tight ship with quick shipping and regular updates. Lester at Pantheon Keys also helps me regularly with my investigation into Chinese vendors and designers, so I for one can give Pantheon Keys my own stamp of approval for what that's worth. But getting back to the T6, T6 stands for The Subscribe Is Calling, as in, you should smash that like button. <laughs> Short for it, this switch is called, which is an interesting name. They're a standard travel linear switch with a pock top, a fiberglass infused nylon bottom, and a UPE stem. Now it's been a minute since I've done a switch review, so if you need a quick refresher on the different switch plastics, POC stands for polyketone, and it's a newer switch plastic that was popularized by B-Sun and JWK. Now UPE on the other hand appears to be a proprietary buzzword that doesn't have a data sheet or material composition attached to it, with the closest I was able to find being unsaturated polyester resin. For our purposes and in my own experience, UPE tends to have a slightly clacky sound signature when used as a stem material, and others in the hobby have found it's basically umwop or ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. All this means I'd expect the T6 to be very smooth and decently clacky right out of the box, so let's take a listen on my Hand Engineering 2000 SE, which is a top mounted 60% keyboard with an aluminum plate. Keycaps are GMK Botanical Round 2. Here's the typing test. So these switches behave pretty much exactly how I'd expected, and I have to say I'm a big fan of KeyGeek's manufacturing. I found no crap sounds in my usage, and although the 60 gram bottom out spring is slightly heavier than I'd prefer, it also leads to a very emphatic and satisfying return sound. Overall, these switches are very solid, with an exceptional stock experience, and at only 53 cents per switch, I'd have to say these are definitely worth picking up to try. Let's take a listen to these switches in a build that's not total unobtainium, and is closer to what my, you might have on your own desk, the QK75N in plateless configuration. Keycaps are GMK Stargaze. Here we go. I think these are a great option for your next build, whether that's an endgame build or a more typical foam-filled budget board. They're on pre-order until June 30th, so I'd act fast, because after the pre-order they go up to 59 cents per switch. Now I haven't tried too many KeyGeek switches, but I have to say that between these and the KeyGeek Raws, I'm pretty impressed with their QC and factory lube. So it's a breath of fresh air to see switch manufacturers other than B-Sun and HMX bring high quality offerings to the hobby at an affordable price. Check out some more keyboard content here. I'm MakerMods, and I'll catch you in the next video.